Vicious Creatures, The Waif in the Wilds, Book One by Loretta Hignett, introduces us to a richly imagined world where the line between humanity and animalistic traits is blurred. At its heart, the narrative follows the struggles of the protagonist, a young waif named Naren, who is forced to navigate a perilous wilderness full of potential allies and enemies both human and beast. The book opens with a devastating scene as Naren's family falls victim to a vicious attack by marauders, leaving her the sole survivor. She is left broken both physically and emotionally, but driven by an innate will to survive. Her determination to live leads her into the depths of the wilderness known as the wilds, a place where few dare to travel and even fewer emerge from. As Naren makes her way aimlessly through the forests, she encounters a variety of creatures that challenge her understanding of what it means to be wild. The environment is harsh, and every step forward is a new encounter with danger. Strange creatures, some bearing an uncomfortably human resemblance, govern the territories of the wilds. Naren's encounters range from tense standoffs with predatory beasts to the discovery of a sentient species whose human-like characteristics include intelligence, speech, and a surprising grasp of emotion. Naren's journey is not one of mere survival, but also of self-discovery. Throughout her travels, she grapples with her own nature, teetering on the edge of becoming one with the savage land she traverses. The wilds force her to confront her values, her resilience, and her capacity for adaptation. There is an undeniable feral aspect to her character that emerges more and more as she endures the trials the wilderness throws at her. Key to her development is her evolving relationship with a character known as the Guardian. This enigmatic figure becomes her guide, protector, and instructor, teaching her the ways of the wilds. The Guardian, though at times unfathomably distant, harbors a profound respect for the balance of nature and slowly introduces Naren to its intricate interconnectedness. Amid her physical and mental challenges, Naren uncovers hints of her own past that shed light on her deep connection with the wilds. She realizes that her family's history is interwoven with the mysterious forces that govern this land and that her fate is somehow significant to the future of both the human settlements and the wilderness itself. As Naren pushes forward, her naivety fades, replaced by an acute awareness of the political and ecological tensions that simmer beneath the surface. Human encroachments on the wilds are not looked upon kindly by its inhabitants, and Naren soon learns that she may be a pawn in a larger conflict that could decide the future of both worlds. Throughout her journey, Naren forms alliances with a variety of beings, including a stoic wolf-like companion, a mischievous sprite, and a tribe of nomadic humans who live in harmony with the wilds. Each new alliance teaches her more about the necessity of cooperation, trust, and empathy, qualities that define the heart of what it means to be human, regardless of one's physical form. But vicious creatures is not without its share of betrayal and treachery. Not all the inhabitants of the wilds are keen on helping a human child, and Naren must navigate a web of deceit as she uncovers the truth of her identity and the fate of her family. With each step, it becomes clearer that Naren's survival may hinge on her ability to embrace the very creatures she once feared. Meanwhile, a larger threat looms as a sinister force begins to awaken within the depths of the wilds, one that has been dormant for ages. This force harbors a malevolence that threatens to tip the balance of nature into chaos. It becomes apparent that Naren's survival and the preservation of the wilds are intrinsically linked. She must not only learn to survive within the wilderness, but also to protect it. The themes of vicious creatures delve into the age-old conflict between civilization and nature, and the delicate balance that must be maintained between the two. Naren's character arc embodies this struggle as she transforms from a vulnerable, terrified child into a formidable presence in her own right whose very existence challenges the established order of things. The climax of the book converges on a moment of truth for Naren, where she must confront the true nature of the vicious creatures of the wilds, which turns out to be far more complex than mere viciousness and her own destiny. She faces a choice that will define her path and potentially the future of the land she has grown to love and fear in equal measure. Ultimately, 
Vicious Creatures sets the stage for Naren to become a bridge between the human and the wild, as she brings a message of unity that could either save or doom both worlds. The book closes with suspense hanging in the air, leaving readers eagerly awaiting the next installment in the Waif in the Wilds series to discover the fate that awaits Naren and the wilds she has come to call home. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.